Welcome to Ready Set Drone. Today I have the Furaby F90 Wasp. This is a tiny little FPV racing quad that you can fly indoors or outdoors. Um, it was provided to us by GearBest, so let's check it out and see what we think. So the Furaby uh, F90 Wasp is uh, shaped like a wasp. You can see there it's got this uh, body around it that makes it look like a probably friendly little wasp flying around. The stinger is the antenna there in the back which is uh, kind of a cool thing. Um, I don't know if these antennas on the top actually do anything but they uh, kind of make the look. It's got prop guards which is nice. It's super lightweight. Um, it's got brushed motors uh, it has uh, built in, so when you order it, you can either order it with a, a Spectrum or DSM receiver built in or an FR Sky receiver built in. This one has the DSM receiver that works with my Spectrum DX6i. Um, so it's kind of nice. You don't have to worry about plugging in a receiver. Just make sure you order the right receiver for the right type of transmitter that you own. Um, you can also order it with a transmitter that comes with it as well as it can come with FPV goggles. It has a built-in camera right there in the front. You can see um, this has a 25 milliwatt transmitter built into it. Um, it is not really adjustable from a height perspective. Well, maybe. No, it doesn't seem to be. You don't seem to be able to tilt it much. It's kind of at a fixed angle. So you're going to have whatever you have uh, from it. It's hit, broadcasts on 48 different channels. Um, it does have a USB port built in the side here. You can plug it into clean flight and fly it that way. Uh, one thing when I first tried this out that was interesting, and, it, and by the way, it does work with Fat Shark goggles, so that's what I'm going to fly it with here in a minute. But um, one thing that was interesting when I first tried it out, the uh, roll was reversed, and meaning that when I rolled right, it rolled left with the stick and when it ro when I rolled left it rolled right. All you have to do to fix that is you can actually go into your settings on your radio depending on what type of radio you have and reverse it in the settings. You go to um, the menu, the model, uh, the settings and then you go to roll and you just say reverse and it works perfectly now. Um, as I said you can plug it into clean flight and do like some calibration to the accelerometers and um, uh, set an arm switch and some things like that. I'm not going to get into all that. This isn't really a, I wouldn't call this a quad that you should have to tune much. should be pretty much plug and play with the exception of the fact that for me I had to go into the radio and reverse the, uh, the roll to make it work correctly. According to the directions it can be flown with a 2S or a 3S battery. Um, it comes with this little 2S battery which is pretty tiny and fits right into these slots down here in the bottom you can see. Um, it has a JST connector on the back and um, you probably get about five minutes of flight time on it. I've only flown it through one battery. It does have a buzzer built in so when the battery gets low it starts beeping or if it loses connection with the uh, transmitter it also starts starts beating, beeping. Um, the camera is 600 TVL uh, and the transmitter, video transmitter, is 5.8 gigahertz. Um, it's a decent signal. Um, again 25 milli, milliwatt signal. If there's nobody else flying around with you then and there's no interference then it actually looks pretty good. I'm gonna record some hopefully on my Fat Shark so you can see what it looks like. So yeah let's take it up for a little flight and uh, see how it does. Okay here we go.
So overall, uh, this thing is not a beginner quad. Uh, I had three major issues with it. Number one, the uh, roll was reversed. Um, not a huge deal, I just had to figure out how to swap it in the radio um, and that made it work. Uh, number two, the propeller kept coming off. I found that the props were actually hitting these little, there's some little uh, plastic bits in there and if you bend the props up slightly, they'll stay on better uh, versus if they're completely flat or down a little bit because they hit that little plastic bit and then they pop off. And so once I figured that out, it was a little bit better. And then number three, this thing is uh, kind of difficult to arm. Uh, not that it's difficult, but I would set it to arm. It would sit there for a few seconds and then it would arm. It didn't arm instantly uh, like I thought it should. It was almost like it, I, I don't know why that would be the case. If I had my switch, my arm switch uh, dead, it wouldn't arm at all. But when I turned the arm switch on and um, just kind of push the sticks around trying to figure out what you do to arm it, uh, it would eventually arm, but it usually took a few seconds, which was kind of odd. Um, it flies okay, uh, not great. Um, I don't know if the power to weight ratio is off or if these little, um, if these little things here stop the motors from, uh, stop the motors from being as efficient as they can be. But um, it's fun. It definitely is small enough to fly indoors, and with these prop guards, you could fly it indoors, and probably would be better. It's kind of windy out here today, and I had a little bit of trouble with the wind. But overall, um, if you want to check it out, I'll leave a link in the description to the GearBest site where you can check it out and buy it if you want to. Um, if you're a total beginner, I wouldn't recommend this one. If you know what you're doing and you can do a little bit of tuning and adjusting, um, it's a fun little indoor flyer or outdoor flyer when there's no wind. Thanks for watching Ready, Set, Drone. If you like this video, please hit the like button and we'd love it if you'd subscribe and we'll see you next time on Ready, Set, Drone. Thanks.